to another Inside Music Row. Today we'll check out the latest addition to the Big Machine Artist roster. We'll also celebrate a number one hit with Lee Bryce. Finally, we'll hook up with Grammy winner Marvin Etzioni as he releases a new album. All this and more coming up Inside Music Row. I'm Bailey, and I'm so glad you joined us for another Inside Music Row. We've got a great show today, so let's get started with Kenny Chesney. Kenny is in the middle of his Brothers of the Sun tour with Tim McGraw, but he still finds time to raise money for a good cause. He's now expanding his partnership with Costa for five new lines of limited edition sunglasses with a portion of the proceeds to benefit Coastal Conservation Association. The partnership first debuted in 2011 on Kenny's Going Coastal Tour and has raised over $50,000 for CCA to date. The Cracker Barrel music collection continues to expand, with Ronnie Dunn now teaming up with Restaurant for New Music. The Ronnie Dunn Special Edition CD includes 12 songs, along with two previously unreleased bonus tracks. A portion of the proceeds will be donated to the Wounded Warrior Project. Jody Messina started her blog, The Fumbling Mom, earlier this year, and the popularity of her heartfelt stories and tips have inspired Nashville's newspaper, The Tennessean, to include her blog in the paper's newly designed family section, both in print and online. The blog is described as a humorous look at a working mom who doesn't have all the answers, just some of them. The CMA Songwriter Series is on the road again, this time taking the intimate set of shows to Los Angeles and Phoenix. Next week's shows out west include Bill Anderson, Christian Bush of Sugarland, Bobby Pinson, and Bob DePiro. Check out cmaworld.com for ticket information. Now it's time to go inside the song. Thomas Rhett is racing up the charts with his debut single called Something to Do With My Hands. We had a chance to catch up with him at an exclusive label party to hear about the song that introduced him to country fans around the world. We wrote this song about a year ago, and um, we were sitting in a room, and uh, and Lee had this title, Something to Do With My Hands, and and uh, Chris had the melody, and uh, we just started writing it, and it was one of those songs that, you know, uh, married to a songwriter like you are, you know how days can be long or they can be really short. And um, this is one of those co-writes that uh, literally lasted an hour, okay. and we had a song. And uh, it's one of those ones where I went away with it, listening to the work tape, and being like, you know, this has got a cool groove, and, and it's a fun tune, and I think it's got hit potential, and I still think it has hit potential to this day. And uh, you know you have a keeper when you still like a song a year later after you wrote it. There you are. With summer officially upon us now, the tours are really cranking up into high gear. Let's take a quick peek at who's going where and when. take a short little break now but before we go I want to let you know that we've got a few copies of Marvin Country. You'll hear more from the Grammy Award winner in a bit but you may want to go ahead and enter this week's drawing right now. All you have to do is go online to InsideMusicRoad.com to register. Just enter your information or update your profile and you'll be good to go. Now for that break but don't go away. We'll check out Tim McGraw's latest label move next. We'll be back in a sliver.